Imagine standing at the brink of all creation. Behind you, everything we know, galaxies, black holes, time, light, life, an endless void, or perhaps something even stranger. What lies beyond the edge of the universe? A wall, a multiverse, an ancient code, or perhaps a truth our minds are not yet ready to comprehend? This is not just a scientific puzzle. It's a spiritual, philosophical, and existential journey. One that has obsessed sages, scientists, and dreamers alike. Today on Netraverse, we pull back the cosmic curtain and face what lies beyond. Imagine this. The universe we can see stretches across a staggering 93 billion light years. But that's just the visible part. A mere island in an endless cosmic ocean. Astrophysicist Ethan Siegel reminds us, there's no edge to space, only a horizon defined by how far light has traveled. In other words, the universe doesn't end, our vision does. Beyond that horizon, entire galaxies may exist, but their light hasn't reached us yet. They are invisible mysteries waiting in the dark. Clues from satellites like WMAP and Planck reveal something mind-bending. Space is flat on a cosmic scale. This hints that the universe might be infinite or curve so subtly, we may never even notice. An infinite universe is elegant, but problematic. If space stretches forever, why hasn't entropy rendered it uniform? Where's the edge? Alternatively, the universe might be finite, but unbounded. Think of the Earth's surface. It has no edge, but it wraps around. Now imagine a 3D analogy, a hypersphere. That could be our universe. Some models, like the Poincaré dodecahedral space, suggest a finite yet looping universe. If this were true, a light beam could travel far enough and return from behind you. We might see echoes of the same galaxies. But this remains hypothetical. Here's a twist. The edge of the observable universe moves, and it moves faster than light. Not because anything travels faster than light, but because space itself expands. This is the result of the universe's accelerating expansion, first confirmed by Saul Perlmutter's Nobel-winning research on type Ia supernova. This expansion stretches the very fabric of space, pushing galaxies beyond our observational reach. Some estimate that within 100 billion years, only our local group of galaxies will remain visible. So the edge is not fixed. It's a fleeing mirage. The more we observe, the more it moves. One answer, more of the same, galaxies, stars, and matter stretching on forever. But another answer is far more thrilling and terrifying, the multiverse. In Alan Guth's eternal inflation theory, inflation never stopped. It continues eternally, creating countless bubble universes. Our cosmos is just one. Each bubble may obey different physical laws, in one, gravity might be weaker. In another, atoms may not form. This could explain the fine-tuning of our universe. In 2022, Physical Review D published a paper examining how collisions between universes could leave detectable imprints, like the infamous cold spot in the CMB. Though controversial, it opens a door to something bigger than everything. Modern science isn't the first to ponder cosmic boundaries. The Rig Veda describes the cosmos, a boundless potential. The ancient Egyptians spoke of Nun, the infinite ocean of chaos beyond the stars. In Buddhism, countless world systems arise and pass away. Are these just myths or intuitive understandings of what we now call higher dimensions and vacuum energy? What if the edge of the universe is not a place, but a programming limit? Nick Bostrom's simulation hypothesis suggests we might be living in a vast simulation. Some physicists, like James Gates, claim to have found computer-like error-correcting codes. The holometer at Fermilab once sought to detect holographic noise, subtle quantum jitters that might suggest a pixelated space-time. If the universe is a simulation, then beyond the edge, nothing. 
just blank code. String theory proposes our universe is a 3D brain inside a higher dimensional bulk. This bulk could contain other brains, universes, stacked or swirling like membranes. When two brains collide, a universe is born. This means our universe may have begun with a cosmic collision. In his book, Hyperspace, Mikio Kaku compares us to goldfish in a bowl, unable to see outside the glass, unaware of the room beyond. Finally, an, what if the real edge isn't out there, but within? Our senses evolved not to perceive reality, but to survive. This means our entire view of the universe, stars, distances, time, could be a user interface for deeper truths. The real edge of the universe might be the limit of human perception. Beyond that edge lies pure awareness. Perhaps what we call the cosmos is just the first veil. So, what lies beyond the edge of the universe? Maybe more galaxies. Maybe a multiverse. Maybe a boundary written in code or in the limits of our imagination. But one truth stands. The edge is not the end. It is the beginning of the next question. And the more we ask, the closer we come to truth. If this episode stirred your curiosity, you'll love where we started. What if the moon disappeared? And if you're wondering where it all began, watch our second video, What Came Before the Universe. Subscribe to Netroverse and join us each week as we unravel the fabric of space, time, and reality itself. Now here's your next quest. What happens after the end of the universe? Heat death or something unimaginable? Stay tuned.